Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video of the João Almeida Pro Cyclist mode here on PCM20 and today I believe it is the last day of the season here on the third season with João Almeida we are going to race the last races that we have so that on the next episode we'll do a highlight of the season so let's see on the calendar as you can see we have four races the first one here, La DH Famen Arden Classic in Belgium, so a hilly classic which can be good for João if it is on a good day. Of course, Il Lombardia, the last classic of the season, the World Tour Classic. And then we end on Tour of Guangxi in China, where again we can do something, I don't know, but yeah. As you can see we have a lot of races, a lot of stages. I'm going to show you the first two classics and then on Tour of Guangxi I'm just going to show you the most important bit so of course the fourth stage with the hilly finish and then the, the flat stages I'm just going to show you the results or if anything happens I'm going to show you but besides that I'm just going to keep it short for you of course so yeah the first one is this classic in Belgium so let's go right away into that and so here we are for this classic, here is the profile, but first of all, I'm, uh, I have to... And so guys, here we are with the profile and the squad for this race, but first of all, let me tell you, leave a like on this video, of course, and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet, of course, it means a lot for me, so do that, please. And yeah, as you can see here, João Maid, it seems that he's not feeling well. We have here a red cross, a bit of a sniffle. Yeah, it seems that we are not okay right now. Our fitness is not the best. We are expecting to have a zero rest state condition, so we cannot use the willpower bonus that we have left on the season. And yeah, I believe we, we can be the leaders here because we are the better one, but Ben Irmans with a 94% fitness can be on a good day, who knows? But yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Well guys, we are halfway through the race and it seems that James Knox from our team has decided to make an attack from the peloton. I don't know why really, but he just made that and of course now the peloton will increase the speed. But yep, James Knox with a minus 5 is attacking. I don't think he's going nowhere, but okay. And yeah, from our team, João Maida is injured, but he has a plus one day, so that is a good thing, of course. And this guy, Mauro Bans Van I don't know, I'm sorry if I botched it, with a plus four, a very good help for us, for sure. And Ben Irmans, of course, a good help to just protecting us throughout the stage. And yeah, so far, n nothing happened, really. Uh, four guys in front, uh, three minutes ahead of us. Now, of course, it's less than that. And yep, uh, the climbs are not that big or the pace is not that high to make a difference. So it's going to be down the line really on the final bit of the stage where things will get heated. And uh, let's see what is going to happen. And so guys, here we are almost on the last 10 kilometers, still 12 kilometers to go. And uh, I'm just trying to put a rhythm with my guys up front because we have some hills right ahead of us and I... I want to make a difference, I'm trying to do that, but I know it's going to be very difficult. And we have here in front Tuchveld and uh, I don't know who is this guy, but they are not attacking, I believe, they are just putting a pace. And that's what I'm doing with Ben Irmand right now. And then we have Vance Venant and João Almeida as we are entering the last 10 kilometers. And yep, Ben Irmand is gone, let's try to go now with Jens Venant. Uh, I'm sorry. Bans Venant, I think it is the name, and they have just a good rhythm, nothing else. Just to be up front because then it is downhill to the finish line. So yeah, I hope that we can do something good here. Let's see. And now we have a little downhill, and then we have the last five kilometers. So yeah, come on now, guys. Let's push it a little bit more. Because it is downhill, of course. Come on. And so last 5 kilometers now, let's use the energy gel on Joao Maida. And it seems that we are creating a little breakaway. Come on now. Now we have a little appeal, but it's nothing really. Let's go 99 with Vance Venant. 
Then João Maida can go on a sprint. Come on, João, start the sprint right now because it is downhill. João Maida up front. We still have a lock to go, really. Maybe it was too soon. Let's see. We have Irmans on our wheel. João Maida, last kilometer now. Come on, kid. Oh my god, no, I cannot believe this, João Maida. And we are going to be beaten by Queen Irmans, I believe it is the name. Quinton Irmans and João Maida just on the second place. I just launched it too soon, really. Wow, my god, what is this? And so, guys, in the end, Quinton Irmans is the winner. João Maida just on his second place. This, this should be a very easy win for João Maida. We should have got that, but it is what it is. And yeah, I was confident that uh, on the downhill, I, I could maintain the advantage because I really thought that that downhill was enough to regain energy and to maintain the distance, but it was not, as we see. And the Quinton Irmans is the winner and uh, he was the strongest. And so now here we go for the last uh, classic of the world tour in Lombardia in Italy. And uh, again, it's not for us this time the, because this type of classics, you know, there is for Julian Alaphilippe. But we are here as well, of course. We are not on the best shape. So let's see what can we do to help Alaphilippe. And yep, let's go into the race. And so guys, we are approaching the last 50 kilometers of this race. João Maida has worked in front of the peloton because it was his objective. He is a teammate. And now we have Colma di Sormano and Muro di Sormano. So yeah, it's going to be very tough this climb. Let's see if João Maida can hang on because his energy is not the best right now. And he's not on the best day, of course. So yeah, let's try to see if he can hang on. And then on the downhill, I don't know, attack or just regain energy at least that and so guys we are entering Muro di Sorman as we can see and this is it for João Maida we are losing our energy but thankfully the thing stopped in the peloton but now they are getting the pace a bit high again and yep João Maida is out of energy right now there's no point of continue like this really and re this is it for now João Maida is out of the race so let's see who is going to be the winner. And Alaphilippe is not here in the front, which is very strange as well. Alaphilippe is behind, way behind. What the hell, Alaphilippe? Come on, man. Go to the front. And so, guys, it seems that all the downhill, everyone just got together again. So 39 guys here on the peloton. And now we have the two last climbs of the race. The first one is right here as we are on the last 20 kilometers. The Sivbiglio. And yep, once again, it's very hard. Attacks are coming already. Let's see what can João Maida do here. And oh my god, I was on uh, plus two time. I'm sorry for that, I just realized. But yeah, João Maida now losing a lot of energy, of course. But we are still with the guys. And that is good, of course. But still, we have a lot of climbing to do. I don't think João Maida will hang on here, really. My god, come on, João. Just a little bit more. And so here we are now, last climb, and Shackman right ahead is attacking the world champion. And of course, the, all the other riders are following. João Maida is trying to follow, but it's not possible, really. Come on, João, try to go at the rhythm, maybe, because it's not easy for you. Come on, João. But yeah, we, we are gone, we are behind. We are not going to fight for victory. Two guys in the front right now. Let's see who's going to be the winner. And so guys, I don't have any footage of the first place right now. I don't know why, but the motorcycles are not there. We have here the finish line. We are on the last kilometer. Let's see who is the winner. And it is Shackman, the winner of the race ahead of Matthew van der Poel. And there comes all of the other riders. Alaphilippe, it seems that's going to be the third. No, it is Mark Hirschi ahead of Alaphilippe. And João Maid is coming right behind this group. As you can see here, Ala Philippe, I'm sorry, João Almeida just reaching the finish line. And they, of course, it was not a good result, but Maximilian Schachmann, what a performance by him, the world champion. What a good race. And so, guys, here we are now, the last race of the season for João Almeida in China, Tour of Guangxi. Let's see the stages. We have six stages. The majority, it is a flat stages, as you can see, stage number one here. Stage number two with a bit uphill finish in the end. Stage number three, another flat one. 
and then stage number four the one that is a hilly stage and it is uh, uphill until the finish line stage number five again some climbs but it is a finish but it is a flat finish so yeah it's for the sprinters maybe and then on stage number six another flat stage so yeah let's see what can joe almeida do here on the race once again the fitness is not the best but we are here as a leaders i believe because we are the better one here so i believe that's going to be our status and yep let's go to the race and let's see who is the winner of stage number one and so guys here we are on the last five kilometers of this first stage i'm trying to do a train for joao meta but it's not easy really and uh, i don't think we can do it of course but i'm going to try let's see here i have the train but i'm very far behind let's try to sprint with maurice but yep we are too far behind we are not going to make it maybe let's see now last kilometer joao meta is launching the sprint but it was too soon or it's not oh my god i cannot believe it Sergio Higuita again on the finish line just steals the victory from João Almeida oh my god this is the second time today I cannot believe it what a sprint by João Almeida and what a sprint by Sergio Higuita taking the victory on stage number one and so now stage number two and uh, I cannot believe it but let's see if this time we can get involved once again on the sprint and if we can get a win who knows and so here we are entering the last 5 kilometers of this stage. João Maida is a bit behind. I, I am making a train just like the last stage as you can see here. But we are a bit behind. Come on João, just catch Wallace please. And yep, here we go. Now let's put more pace here with Wallace. But they are gone already. Oh my god. On our way it's going to be the launcher. And we have a little hill here. Let's start the sprint now with On and this is it, the last kilometer now, João Maida is on the perfect position. I'm just going to launch the sprint now. Will anybody catch me? No, we won't. Nobody will catch me this time, I believe. João Maida is going for the win on stage number two, ahead of Mark Sarro and Selig Rudiger. So once again, we beat the sprinters and we beat everybody else. Serge Rigit is not here in the front, so we are the new leaders as well. What a performance by our team and by João Almeida. And so guys, here we are, last 5 kilometers of stage number 3 or number 4, I believe. I don't remember right now. And we have Wallace in front. Let's put some more pace in it because we are reaching the final, of course. And let's see if this time we can get another win or a good placement. Who knows? Let's go 99 with Wallace now. And we are very close now, but I want to leave it a bit late now. On our way, starting to sprint, two kilometers to go. Maybe it was too soon, who knows? My god, last kilometer now. João Almeida starts the sprint. Come on, against the sprinters, João Almeida will not get a win. The win is for David Chimolai from Arkea Samsic, I believe. And uh, no, oh my god, I didn't even see it was Mark Sarro from. Uh, uh, FDJ across the other side of the road I didn't see that because the road is too wide and he's got the win David Chimolai second place Joao Maida just on his sixth place but it was a good result of course we gain more points and uh, we don't lose time so yeah another great result and it seems that this race has a lot to offer and yeah guys it seems that in the end this race has a lot to offer and uh, as you can see now we just have one second of advantage from Mark Sarro from Groupama FDJ. He was the winner of the stage today and yep, now our leadership is in danger but it was stage number 3, it was not stage number 4. Stage number 4 is the hilly stage so let's hope that we can win more time here and win this classification. And so guys here we are starting the stage number 4, the queen stage of this race and John Maida has a minus 1 but it seems more like a minus 2 or a minus 3 because look at this stat that we are losing right now a lot of minus 2 and minus 4 and uh, on the other side the white jersey Sergio Higuita who is basically the favorite for today I cannot find him right now let's see if I can find him here on riders there we go Sergio Higuita of course he has a plus one day and he's just 7 seconds behind us so yeah he's the favorite for today for sure and uh, João Almeida, I mean, let's try our best and uh, let's just try to keep our jersey. 
And so here we are now for the last 5 kilometers of the stage. João Mel is a bit behind right now and the energy is not the best, but I'm trying to put myself in front of the peloton with James Knox and Chandra Morris. And yep, Sergio Higuit is already in front of the peloton, the pace is really high with Bora Arsgon, come on João please. Let's go a little bit to the front, come on, but yeah, we are getting out of energy, it is not looking good for us, come on, come on, and yep, now it seems that up front they are continuing with the pace, my god, come on, João, we passed now the KOM sprint, and now it is Sergio Git up front, João Maid is getting out of energy, I'm trying to protect with Chandra Maurice, as we are entering the last kilometer of the stage, come on, João, try to sprint to catch Sergio Higuita, but I think it's not possible, João made out of energy, Sergio Higuita is the winner of the stage, my god, and Shader Maurice even gets a third or fourth place, and yep, João made way behind, I think we lost the jersey, I cannot believe it, damn it, and so guys, Sergio Higuita won the stage, and by the time that we lost, he is the new leader of the general classification, my god, I cannot believe it, this is the second year that this happens. My god, really, I'm so upset right now, how can this happen once again? That little hill, it just damaged my performance for the second year in a row, my god. And so let's go now for stage number 5, another flat stage, let's see what's going to happen. And so guys here we are last 5 kilometers of the stage, let's see if we can get a win or not, Wallace is in the front for us, he's going to be there for a little longer if it's possible of course, and then we have still to launch us, let's go now more aggressive with Wallace, see if that is possible, and now we have steals to launch us, let's see now, maybe on the 2 kilometer mark I'm going to start with steals, and the João Maida is not on the best day and he's way behind, why did you I damn it, really, my god, I pressed the button to, to start the sprint still, why didn't you do it in sprint, and of course now we are way behind, we don't get any uh, bonus seconds and uh, just on a ninth position, oh really, I'm, I'm pissed off right now because I pressed the key to, to start the sprint with 10 steals, and he didn't sprint and of course we, we were behind and uh, we need these seconds, we are not getting seconds on the intermediate sprint, we are not getting seconds here on the final, this way we are not going to win it of course. I'm sorry guys, I know I, I'm, uh, I shouldn't be like that but I'm sorry, it is what it is, that hilly stage just got me upset really because it is the second time that this happens, last year it was the same thing I believe, we lost on that uh, Heal and uh, now again it happened the same thing and we are not going to win it again and yeah I'm pissed off of course uh, we couldn't of course I'm pissed off and I'm and I'm pissed off of course because the things didn't go the way I, I wanted to go on this last uh, stage and yep yeah, let's go into the last stage and let's see what can we do but I'm just going to show the results maybe and so guys, last stage of this Tour of Guangxi, Jasper De Buist is the winner from Lotto Rolex, Danny Van Popo comes second and Edward Tunes from Trek comes in third place. Let's see the general classification, we, we end up on the second position, 18 seconds behind Sergio Higuita and we come in the third position of the points classification, we didn't even won this classification, we were so close and we didn't won this really. This is. This was a race to forget in the end, I know that we won a stage but we didn't win any jersey in the end and yep, it was a race to forget for me really, I know we won a stage again but yeah, let's put this in the past, doesn't matter, this is the last race of the season so the season is over, I'm going to leave a poll on the description or I'm going to leave a link for a poll so you decide if you want to see more of this or not, if you want to see season number 4 of João Maida and uh, it will be with coffee, this, remember that, so yeah, I don't know if you want me to continue this series or not, so I'm just going to make a poll for this episode and for the next one, so you have time to decide and then I will continue if you want so, so yeah, this is it for now, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe, it means a lot, stay safe. Bye-bye.